Hello, today I'm going to share a tool with you that's going to help you when you're uploading your videos and, and when you're searching for those tags that are going to help you have um, more visibility with your video. It's going to help your video be found. Those are, it's called search engine optimization. And I have a tool that will help you as you're uploading. It's not something you have to do off on the side and then bring it over. Um, the name of the tool is TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy does Oh gosh, so much. Um, I started out using it with the free version and I just wanted to see what it would do. And I have gradually, you know, it's a learning curve. I've gradually um, used more and more of the features. And this is a simple feature that I'm going to show you today that every beginner needs. Now, again, I'm not going to go through the entire YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy platform and show you every single thing it does because it gets overwhelming and then my the video ends up being an hour long and then you can't even remember what you watched so we're just going to concentrate on tags today now i don't usually do this but i'm going to bring you to the pricing list and the, there's a reason that i'm doing this because a lot of times especially when you're new well let's say this i did this when i was new i would always buy like the mid account like they have the lowest account and then the mid and then the high. I always went for the mid thinking, oh, I might as well get it now and use everything that it does. Well, what I have found, I was buying all these tools to help me. And yes, they probably were all wonderful, fantastic tools, but you only have so much time in a day and so much time <laughs> to learn. So what I always recommend is always start with a free version and then go to that lower, the lowest tool. And this one does have a free version. So let's just scroll down and I want you to pay attention to the first item, uh, row is free, then it's pro. But right here, you will notice on the free account, you're gonna have very, very limited um, keyword searches, uh, tags and things like that. Um, it comes down here even more. It's a very limited area. Here it is, tag list, suggested tags. That's where we're going over today. It's very limited on the pro account. I, the free account. I have the pro account. I have not moved up to star. I'm still learning all the features and the more I learn them, um, like I said, the more I'm really sold on TubeBuddy. Um, let's go in and look at what it does, okay? Um, when you click the link below and you go to TubeBuddy, it'll take give you the option of starting with a free link or whatever you want to do, um, but you're going to be put um, up huh uploading a Chrome extension. And I want you to look up here where these three dots are and you go down here where it says more tools and then go under extensions. That's how you can find all the extensions that you have. You can see up here along the top, right under your um, toolbar, you can see all the extensions and sometimes it just really gets loaded. So you can go in and even turn them off. See this one here, I have a Facebook pixel helper. I just turned it off for now because um, um, different things that I'm not using. Uh, Font Face Ninja, this will actually, well, you don't need to know what it does. But anyway, um, we're not talking about all that stuff, but I, I have it turned off. So when I go to use it, I pull it up. TubeBuddy, I use all the time and I have it turned on. So I just wanted to show you because one time by accident, I don't know how it happened. I think when I rebooted my computer, TubeBuddy disappeared. And I was like, whoa, what happened? And of course I'm contacting the company and all that. And then somebody told me, well, check your extension fire file. So that's where they're at. They're all right there. And if you have extensions, you you know, decide you're not using anymore. Like I have the sketch pad I haven't used in a while. I can look at it again. Do I want it? And then remove it if I don't. A um, little bit of tip there. All right, so let's look at, I uploaded my video. And the video, I just sat there and ran it for three minutes. It's not really a video, but I named it How to Make Money Online. And the reason I did that, because that's going to pick up some good suggested tags. Now, the first thing I do is I go into my description. What I have there is already um, saved into uh, um, YouTube. And I have a video on that, how to save all those defaults is what it's called. And I always scroll that down and then I add stuff that ha pertains to this video. So I, the first thing I do is put the name of the video, how to make money online. And then I go from there. If I have any links or anything like that, then I add them. Okay. Now here, right below it, it says tags. That's the first tag that I want, how to make money online and then you just hit enter and there's your tag now this is where the magic happens okay 
you scroll down and it has suggested tags notice they have numbers next to them those are relevancy numbers the higher that number the better that means that's something that's getting searched make money from home um, working look at it lots of them nines and tens it's there's a lot a lot of people search for making money online now I can do this I can say oh this one is a number 10 where did it go make money from home I'm going to hit the plus button it'll put a little check and then typically oh that didn't okay let me do another one there oh it's going to make a liar out of me usually you'll hit those and it keeps on bouncing up to the top okay so there it goes see what it just did it I hit it and it bounced up to the top then you got to come down and it's a big pain in the ass to be honest so what you do instead is go right here where it says tag tools and select suggested and all those tools are going to um, fill in and then I can just go down and and click them all at once okay I hit the suggested tags and for some reason it is not loading but I don't want to stop because just hit the suggested tags and this is what it looks like when it pops up I found a, a, a video here but see here it has your um, topic of those suggested tags and we'll go back to those you have a list and then it'll have the relevancy score and usually they're in order and then you can go in and click the ones you want you you're not always going to use every tag that's in there sometimes it might not have anything to do with what you're doing and then over on this side the right side it's going to have tags that you have in your channel and see if they're relevant and it's going to start giving you a score of hey this tag's been searched a lot and I got nothing over here at first when I was new there was nothing you know you can't have any analytics unless you have some content but it's really exciting when you start building up that content and you start seeing that hey these are different tags that have been um, chosen and then you can start being a little bit more strategic in what kind of videos that you make but in the beginning I really recommend just making how-to videos no matter what area no matter what um, niche that you're in it could be you know weight loss it could be you know animal care you know if you have dogs or something um, if you're into art you know just do some how-to videos and then you'll start building from there and you'll just get tons of ideas all right so let's go back it's still spinning so we're just going to stop it there and what I hit was this um, suggested tab now I'm going to go in and just go ahead and hit more of these see normally it doesn't it might something must be going on because normally when you hit these it keeps on flying up and you have to keep coming back up and down so something you know that's life yep there it goes it just flew up there all right something i wanted to show you and um, you could sit here and hit the word sort this is tag tools all of this is here because of tubebuddy if you don't have tubebuddy you don't have access to any of this but go to where it says sort and all of your tags pop up and this is really cool look I accidentally did a duplicate I have a duplicate so it says remove duplicate and you just hit it like that so sometimes don't sit and stress out you know did I already use that is it going to be the same just hit the sort tag now here's another thing let's say that you started um, putting information in for the tags and you went crap I forgot to put the heading you don't have to do that I have watched other people you know rock star video youtubers and that was something they suggested you put it in the title you put the same exact words in the description and the first tag that's three times they're all exactly the same now let's say I didn't put it there I can move them here see that it says how to make money on YouTube now I think mine said how to make money online so that's not even the right one how to make money online is actually what my tag was and then I can move them around I can get rid of the duplicates and then I can save it so doing the tags is really easy now look right here where it says 243 out of 500 I only get 500 characters so you might want to use some of the ones that YouTube has suggested there are other ways to get tags sometimes people will look at other people's videos they might search something get the number one ranked video and then um, with well let's try that let's go look it up let me show you this is something else that TubeBuddy will do just a moment now what I did is I just went to Google and I typed in how to make money online that's my keyword right my long tail keyword and 393 million people are looking this up probably monthly okay so it's a very uh, strongly searched uh, tag now I can pick one of these first second or third ranked videos sometimes I like to 
pick the newest one. These two, um, number one and three, are from 2018, but this one's a little bit more current, Make Money Online. This one says with YouTube, um, 10 legit ways to make money online. Let's do that one, because that's kind of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna pull up, it should be a video. If it's not, yes, it is. As I go, sometimes you'll hit that link and it'll be um, a blog, and we don't want a blog, we want a video. So I'm gonna pause that real quick. Now, this is what TubeBuddy has given me, all of this information. Um, this person, I don't even know their name. Um, I don't even know. It's, uh, it says Practical Wisdom is the name of the company. And over here to the right, I see that they have 6 million views. They have, um, their average duration is, the duration of this video is 10 minutes. And see, I get all this analytical information because of TubeBuddy. Now we're talking about tags today, so let's focus on that. Right here are all the tags that this person used on the video. Now I can hit this little link and copy them all, but I don't recommend doing that because you don't want yours to be exactly the same. What I typically will do is I'll go use some of the ones from TubeBuddy and then I'll come in here and look at the highest ranked ones. Like here, passive incomes ideas. Um, if you weren't sharing passive income ideas, you might not want to pick that one, but um, working online, 21. Uh, this one's 19, how to make passive income, how to um, make money on the internet. So you can go in and pick some of the higher ones and add it to yours. Sometimes I will even pick a person that I know is really big in that industry. So for instance, if I was doing click funnels, I might add Russell Brunson's name because I know he's really big, or I might pick a couple influencers that I know of that are really big with click funnels, maybe not use Russell's name because everybody's doing that. So I might go in and pick a couple of the influencers that I, I know are really big with click funnels and I'll put their names there. So I have like names for different things and that helps you as well. So you, you want to be a little bit strategic. But again, for the sake of today's video, I wanted to show you how easy TubeBuddy makes it for you to find tags. You can do it here, use the suggested tags or go Google your title and then pick a video and pick tags. And you don't have to pick one video. You could pick two or three and then just start um, listing them somewhere and then using them. So hopefully that was helpful. I really highly recommend at the very least get the free um, program and use it for free and check it out and see what it does. And at, at right now, you're going to see three videos pop up that are all pretty relevant to what I just talked about today. Hit the link below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, it makes a, you know, your, your ranking go up, right? That's what, where it, it's all about. But um, thank you for watching sincerely. And I hope this was helpful to you. Um, I will, that's my goal is to put out videos that are going to help you, especially as a beginner and help you make good decisions so that you can continue to be consistent and stick with it so that you too can create that passive income.